Hi everyone, so this video is devoted to the problems that are associated with uh, law of gravitation and essentially a gravitational force. So the, the gravitational force is having this form where g is a constant of 6.67 times 10 to negative 11 with the units of newtons, newtons meters squared over kilograms squared. The masses are both in kilograms. Um, R is the, uh, is the distance between the, the two masses in meters, but we need to square it. So please appreciate this, this, this fact. And so if this is one of our masses, the other is this one, and there are R meters apart from one another, the gravitational force between the two masses is given by this formula. Um, so the questions uh, that that are uh, that are um, you know that 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 are associated with gravitational force is the, in these two ways. For example, it says, um, "How does a gravitational force change if I double the mass of?" my objects and triple the distance between them. Okay, so I'm having one object, I'm having another one, they are R meters apart. Here I have gravitational force of G, that constant, mass of M1, whatever it is, I don't know, two kilograms, three kilograms, whatever kilograms, mass of M2, and then the distance that's here is let's say r squared away from an, one another so this gives gives us if we put some numbers in here then we'll get we're going to get our force gravitational force now if i double the mass of my objects so if my m1 here is 2m1 of this let's call this m1 primed Okay, so if this would be, if this were one kilogram, this would be like two kilograms. And this guy, the new one, is two times of the old one. See? And I'm tripling the distance, so I rather actually put this way, way back here so that I actually show you that this R prime, the new R, is three times the old one. Okay, so now uh, force uh, gravitational force for this one reads F equals G, that constant, times double the mass of one, double the mass of second one, over triple the distance squared. Okay, so we got to be careful because of the denominator is square. So you need to, you know, be a little bit uh, more careful on this. So um, here we have G, 2M1, 2M2. These are all multiplied together. So you can actually have these two multiplied together by them, like basically um, group them up together. So 2 times 2 gives you 4, M1, M2 over... 3r squared gives you 9r squared. And let me just rewrite this once again. So my f in the second case would be 4g, let's put 4 here, m1, m2 over 9r squared. Okay? So the first force, first gravitational force was this. Now, the second case where, where I double the masses and triple the distance between them turned out to be this much. Now, I, now if you take a closer look at um, how these two are related to one another, you'll see that you have g m1 m2 over r squared exactly here. See that? This is your old f this one this is this now the new f the second case is four ninth of before so if i ever 
double my masses and triple the distance between them, my new force is four ninth of the old one. So this force, the gravitational force here in the second case, becomes four ninth of old force, this one. Okay, so if I ever am given this question of what if I, there is mass of M1, there is mass of M2, they are R meters apart from one another. Now, what happens if I double one of them, ha make the other one 0.5 of the, the, the previous one, so I half the other 0.5, and I, I have the same distance between them. How would this gravitational force um, be different from this gravitational force? Okay? So for this one, well, the first, ca uh, the first case scenario, the first case scenario gives you F of G, M1, M2 over R squared. This guy, though, gives you G, 2M1, 0.5 M2 over the same R squared, right? Now let's modify this a little bit, like not modify, but simplify it. So 2m1 times 0.5m2, let's group these two together. These are multiplications, so you can just swap things without hurting anything, like without without making any errors. It's, it's just correct to do so. So g2 times 0.5 gives you 1 m1 m2 over r squared so this is my new f that was my old f do you see the resemblance these are essentially the same so if i double one of my masses and i half the other one but keep the distance the same then gravitational force for this case stays the same as you can see Okay, so if I tell you, third question, third question tells you if I have M1 and M2 with a distance of R first, now what, what, what happens if I triple one of them, either, I don't care, I can just do the other one just so that you see that you're going to get the same result anyways. So I triple one of them, whichever, and I make the distance four times, um, like this is going to be four times compared to the four, 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 um, like, uh, I, um, basically I multiply the distance by four, you know, four times, um, further away from from the second case so this becomes four times r okay and uh, if i ever ask you how the gravitational force dif uh, is different from the first scenario you got to do f is g m1 m2 over r squared for the first one now for the new one for the new one is g m1 3 m2 over 4r but squared right so if i simplify things i can just pull this over in the front and have it as a coefficient of 3 g m1 m2 over 4r squared gives me 16 r squared so gravitational, so see how, how things, how we can read from this. So I have G M1 M2 over R1. I have G M1 M2 over R1 here as well. So this is essentially that. So my new F is 3 16th of my old. So my new F, the, the second scenario is 3 16th of the old one, this one. So the gravitational force um, changes by 316th 
Okay, and then you go from there, right? The other, um, the other way, and the other thing is that you can you you can be given the masses, and then you can be given the radi uh, the the distance between them, and you're sol you're solving the gravitational like number wise, m one m two over r squared. You just plug the numbers in. And then you solve for it. But this is comparison question. This is numeric question. Um, have a good day. Bye-bye.